one little dog is creating a really uncomfortable way of living, which the people have to become sort of antisocial to the rest of the world because this 35-pound dog is creating this chaos. Okay, so let's go see. So I'm going to do it again. A bigger dog would go over, right? Over like this. This is dominance. This is not being aggressive. This has just been dominance, right? He has a weapon that is his mouth. I don't. So this is my shield, right? This is what I'm, I'm using the environment to help him to calm down, to let him know that this male human being is not afraid of him and I mean no harm. That's at the moment I move away, he went into that state and I came back and challenged him again, right? That's why you can't try this at home. He's not backing away, he's calming down. You see it? That's really good. Look at that. Look at the eye contact now. This, he's giving me submissive eye contact. That's when you do things right. See now the shaking part? It's an expression of coping with the new self. Okay? They're so addictive to be aggressive that when somebody blocks them, they're going to, what should I do? I don't know how to be in any other way. So seeing the shaking is part of the intervention. Years back, telling him he's unsure. It's pretty good. There we go. Fight another another protest behavior. As you saw, he has learned to control situation with his feet, very typical of the breed, and his mouth, he's gonna chew through it. That foot right there that you guys keep seeing like that, okay, is, is an expression of going after somebody. Hunter, predator. So he's a little unsure submissive. That's what we can't trust him yet.